Pyramids by Laura Marsh. Great Pyramids. What is topped with a point and reaches way up high? What is built from stone with room for a mummy inside? A pyramid. The pyramids in Giza, Egypt were built about 4,500 years ago. Pyramid. A triangle shape with four sides and a square base. Big buildings. Pyramids are found in many places. The most famous pyramids are in Giza, Egypt. They are huge. Long ago, ancient Egyptian rulers were buried inside them. This is a Maya pyramid in Mexico. There are pyramids in Central America and other places too. In Giza, the largest pyramid is called the Great Pyramid. The Giza pyramids are made of stone blocks. Each block weighs more than a big family car. Building the pyramids was hard work. Thousands of people moved the blocks into place. One stone block would come up to the shoulder of most men. Scientists think it took about 20 years to build the Great Pyramid. Workers may have used ropes and, and ramps. Six cool facts about pyramids. One, the first pyramid in Egypt was called the Step Pyramid. It was built in Saqqara more than 4,600 years ago. Pyramids with smooth sides came later. 2. The Giza pyramids had smooth sides when they were built. An outer layer of smooth stone covered the pyramids. Today, the outer layer was mostly worn away. 3. It took about 20,000 workers to build the Great Pyramid, the largest pyramid in Giza. 4. The Great Pyramid was built with more than 2 million stone blocks. 5. Some stone blocks were brought by boat on the Nile River, but many blocks came from an area near the Great Pyramid. 6. The Eiffel Tower in Paris, France, became the tallest building in the world in 1889. Before that, the Great Pyramid was the tallest. Home in the Afterlife Ancient Egyptian rulers were called pharaohs. People believed pharaohs lived on after they died. This was called the afterlife. A pyramid was built for the pharaoh's body. It protected the body for the afterlife. In this wall painting, Egyptians prepare a body for the afterlife. The pyramid was the pharaoh's tomb. People filled it with things the pharaoh would need in the next life. Food and furniture were put inside. Jewelry and weapons were put in too. The tombs held many treasures. It took workers many hours to prepare a pharaoh's tomb. These are treasures from a pharaoh's tomb, a hawk, a piece of jewelry, and a painted box. Tomb, a grave, room, or building used to hold a dead body. Making Mummies when a pharaoh died, the body was made into a mummy. Salts, oils, and perfumes were put on the body. Next, the mummy was wrapped with strips of cloth. Then it was put into a coffin. This pharaoh's coffin was often made to look like the person inside. Inside a pyramid. A pyramid often had several rooms inside. The pharaoh's coffin was placed in the burial room. This room was in the middle of the pyramid. A, a long, narrow tunnel led to it. More tunnels led to other rooms. Treasures were kept there, too. Some pyramids had burial chambers hidden below the pyramid. An entrance to the Great Pyramid. Robbers. Long ago, people robbed the pyramids. They dug through the stone. They stole the treasures inside. So pharaohs needed a new kind of tomb. The time of the pyramids was over. Instead, the pharaohs built hidden tombs. The tombs were cut into cliffs or buried below the earth, but most of those, most of those tombs were robbed too. In this illustration, a tomb is discovered, but robbers have already been there. 
the entrance to a pharaoh's tomb today in the Valley of Kings, Luxor, Egypt. King Tut's Tomb Robbers and explorers found many tombs. By the 1900s, most tombs had been found, but the tomb of one king had not, King Tut. A man named Howard Carter tried to find Tut's tomb. He searched for many years. Art showing King Tut and his wife, Howard Carter. In 1922, Carter found hidden steps to a burial room. Rocks from another tomb had covered it. Inside was the tomb of King Tut. Carter found a lot of treasures. They were more than 3,000 years old. Howard Carter studies King Tut's coffin. This golden mask covered the mummy of King Tut. Still exploring. People are still exploring pyramids and tombs. In 2015, scientists said there might be hidden rooms in Tut's tomb. They used new radar scans to find them. They thought the tomb of Queen Nefertiti might be inside. Queen Nefertiti was the famous wife of King Tut's father. This computer drawing shows a map of King Tut's tomb. The rooms in shadows are possible rooms not yet discovered. A scientist uses a machine to scan the walls of the tomb. Many more lost tombs and pyramids are buried in the ground. Sarah Parkak has a new way to find them. She looks at satellite photos of Earth. They show where the things may be under the ground. She has found hundreds of places to search. Maybe she will find new tombs and pyramids to explore. Sarah Parkak is at work in the field. Parkak studies a satellite photo.